What's going on guys, it's Jake here and today we are building the ultimate Game Boy Macro. I wrote a script for this video back when I was scripting videos, but I, I it feel weird like we're four videos in now to no script and I'm doing a script for video again would feel a little weird, at least it, to me, I don't know. So I think I'm just gonna like reference it a little bit to stay focused. But if you don't know what a Game Boy Macro is, it's a, it's a way to save a DS Lite and it's a way to play Game Boy Advance games. And it's arguably the most comfortable and definitely the cheapest way. It's my favorite mod by far. I do them all the time. If you look at my Instagram, I, half of my pictures are Game Boy macros, I swear. But that's why we are making the ultimate macro. Well, it's already done, but I'm gonna act like I haven't done it just for continuity's sake, I guess. I, continuity, is that the right word? Probably not. But we're gonna be using the macro that I've already used to uh, add wireless charging and USB-C in my other videos. Link down below if you want a tutorial on how to add those things. They're a must for the ultimate Game Boy macro. And they're actually really cheap to add if you know how to solder. Imagining this hasn't been finished. Currently, my macro's got a 3D printed faceplate that is just a piece of junk. So I bought the uh, only thing that you can really do for the ultimate Game Boy Macro, and that's the aluminum faceplate from BoxyPixel. It is hands down the best feeling faceplate ever. There's not a ton of different faceplates out there, but it, it wins. When you pick it up, it just, I don't know. I love the cold metal on my hands. It feels great. It also looks good. It comes in a ton of different colors, and purple's obviously the best. I also got the gray uh, screen lens with it, and then I just used some black buttons that I think I was already using with the other faceplate. It's got a spot for the speaker, and uh, yeah, it only costs you an arm and a leg. It's $54, at least that's what it says in my script, but I wrote it like two months ago, <laughs> so it might go up or down from then. $54, Plus shipping, that's, it's really nice, but it's not necessary. I don't think that you should spend $54 plus on something like that. If you have the money and you want to, go ahead. I had to because it's like the only thing you can really do to make the true ultimate Game Boy Macro. Sorry mom for spending that much money on a piece of metal. I'm not sure if that includes the screen lens or not. I, I hope it did. This video is sponsored by no one. I, I don't get sponsors. I, I wish I did, but I don't. She wanted up, so she gets what she wants. Right. I just wanted to announce that the Game Boy Color shirt that I've been working on these past few weeks is, what are you looking, huh? It's finally out now and you can buy it on my website. I'd be wearing one, but it's still on the way to me. I hand drew most of the Game Boy Color from the original box art and it comes in all the original Game Boy Color colors. Kiwi, berry, dandelion, teal, grape, and even atomic purple. No, it's not a see-through shirt, you weirdos. But if you're a Game Boy Color fan or those just interest you at all, check out the link in the description. You buy one, it helps me out. You wouldn't want her to go homeless, would you? Because that would happen if you didn't buy a shirt. I'd have to put her out on the street because I couldn't afford to keep her. Or I'd have to eat her because I can't afford to feed myself. And it'd all be your fault because you didn't buy a shirt. So check out the link down below and get yourself a t-shirt. Now back to your regularly scheduled program. Here are my problems with it. It's got the hole for the speaker, right? But as you can see, it's got a little bit of a lift on the shoulder buttons, just the one with the speaker over it. Yeah, that's about it for this faceplate. I'll probably have uh, B-roll going the whole time of me putting it in, because I have, I recorded that all months ago. Other than that, I'd just say, if you really want a speaker in it, go for it, but it only fits like a switch light speaker. I don't, I don't remember, it was too long ago. But it's small and does not sound good. And I don't know if you've ever put a speaker up to a sheet of metal and then tried to listen to the music from the other side, but it doesn't sound that good. Even with these speaker holes, it's pretty bad. Put in sapphire here. 
because that's what I've been playing. This is max volume, by the way. I only have one speaker in, but it still sucks. It wouldn't be much better with another speaker. I don't think it's worth it to use the speaker, especially when you have the headphone jack still, because if you want it to sound good, you can hook it up to any speaker or headphones and it'll sound so much better. But back to the faceplate, this is only made for the DS Lite. So if you want to make a macro out of the original DS, you're out of luck. But I don't know if he has this file public or not, but Faceless Tech over on Instagram has a really clean looking 3D printed faceplate. I really like it. He's probably my favorite Instagram page right now. So definitely go check him out. Link in the description or just Faceless Tech. So we've got USB-C, wireless charging, metal faceplate. If there's anything else you think I should add to this, please let me know in the comments down below. I want this to be the true ultimate Game Boy Macro. We're not done yet though. If you didn't see last week's video, I reviewed a bunch of rose colored gaming stands because I worked with them for the wood video. Then they asked if I wanted to review some stands and I was like, heck yeah. So they sent a bunch my way. They sent me way too many things and I cannot thank them enough. So I saved this last stand specifically for the Game Boy Macro for last for another video so they can get love through three videos for all the things they've done for me. It's the ultimate Game Boy Macro on the ultimate stand. But that's gonna be it for this video. If you guys did enjoy, please leave a like, you know, listen to Brittany. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Only 1% of my viewers are actually subscribed, so you know what to do. There's also my Patreon. If you want more info, if you wanna be more a part of this channel, check out my Patreon. All links will be in the description down below. Thanks again, Rose Color Gaming, for sending out way too many stands, but I'll always take more. And that's gonna be it for this video, so I will see you guys in the next one. Later, guys. Yeah, I'm just rambling at this point. See you later.